Welcome back for sports day two of state baseball semifinals and we only had one Sen Law team take the field today but the game could not be any bigger as it was Menard taking on St. Charles a rematch of last year's state title game. The Eagles could not have had a bigger chip on their shoulder today having fallen to the Comets last year to a score of nine to one and today it felt just like deja vu for the Eagles as they fall one to zero to St. Charles falling one game short of the state title. The Eagles failed to get their bats going early, and it came back to haunt them. Unfortunately, you know, the break didn't go our way. Had a chance to win it there in the end, and, and, and as a coach, that's all I can ask for is, you know, a team to have a chance to win at the end of the game. Every punch Menard made, the Comets answered back. Nothing going Menard's way, but hey, that's baseball. It's one of those games that you, that you don't want to have with barrels that just get caught everywhere you go. I had one, Case had one, Ben had one, and you know, it just happens. But it's one of those days, and it didn't fall our way, but we know we played our, our hearts out. It mean a lot to me. Just had, yeah, had a goal in mind just to win state for four years. It sucks that we came short. I just thought we were the better team in the end. We had a lot of barrels, just hit right at them. It's unfortunate. We fought, we gave it everything we had, and we fell up on the short end, but that's baseball. I mean, you know, like, you can't always win and go bring home the trophy, but. We sure gave it all we had. I mean, you, all you can do is barrel up the ball and hope it gets down. And I feel like it didn't fall our way necessarily, but I mean, I mean it happens as baseball. Although the Eagles aren't satisfied with the results of today, the senior group is thankful for the bond that they will hold on to for a lifetime. We definitely created a, uh, a certain type of locker room that we had through, throughout our four years there that we built of every every year that we were together from, from childhood to now, and it's definitely something I'm gonna miss. The camaraderie, just hanging out with the teams, doing whatever you want, you know. These guys have been with me for six years. Uh, they put in a lot of work, um, a lot of work that's going to pay off in the future. Um, and and they, they, they showed up every day ready to go. So as a coach, that's all I can ask for. These guys played for each other. Um, and, and, you know, I, I tried to let the young guys come as much to, to high school practice as we can just to see the camaraderie we have as a team. Uh, but, but these guys, these, these, these guys go to war for each other each and every day. So that's probably what I'm going to miss the most. And with six of the nine Menard starters today moving on to play college baseball, it makes a day like this not as painful. You know, to develop these guys and send them on to the next level and watch them have success in the future is, is what coaching baseball is all about. Now, although we have no teams moving on from day two of semis, we still are fortunate enough to have two teams punch their tickets to the state title game in Avoyles Charter and Hicks. We will have both of those games on Friday at 11 a.m. That's a look at sports. We're back after the break.